And it is time to recap the greatest show that has graced Max's screen. The Penguin, Episode 8 finale. The whole cast is here. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, Retro Pack Week variants cover all things Marvel, DC, Lord of the Rings, anime, gaming, Star Wars, and more. This time, the Penguins finale. Man, I wanted to hit that subscribe button, but hey, that's your guys' job. Tony, your thoughts pertaining to the Penguin. I'm going to correct your opening statement. This is the greatest TV show ever on any service, streaming or regular cable. I don't care. It's the greatest. The acting. A plus the story a plus the action a but for a noir set time kind of show that's great I think we all agree that the weakest episode was the Sophia backstory and that still was around a nine so this entire eight episode show was well worth the wait I can't think of just, I mean, we can think of just one negative, and that was the Falcon guy. His acting was, mm, well, the new one. The old one was good. He was, he was solid. The new one they replaced him with could have been done without him. Um, another negative that we brought up with each other was the doctor really did nothing for the show. He was just there as a pet. As Brent said, and I can agree with that, we all had theories on he would become important. Somebody like a Hugo Strange or a Scarecrow. That didn't happen. So we don't know his purpose at all, except just to be there. But again, this episode took off. It gave us backstories. We learned more about Penguin and his mom and how she knew that he had actually killed his brothers and was keeping the secret and was hating him and actually was putting it gonna put a head out on him but didn't and you know Sophia again was one of the main characters in this and her acting was just spectacular everything about this show um the best thing I liked about this was the interaction between Penguin and Vic it didn't end well that was the the worst thing for me, we all thought Sophia was gonna eat, was gonna eat it, but no. Penguin did what he did. He met with the councilman, got Sophia set up. Now she's being back in Arkham as the hangman and has been charged with killing everybody. We love it. I think it was great, a great setup, because now it brings her back into Arkham where she can be brought out and put back in during. Any shows they want to do in the future, even in the Batman 2, she could be, you know, shown being around. This show was just done so spectacular. I don't, I, I mean, that's all I really have to say about it, unless we're going to get into real spoilers, but I want to hear from you two before we actually dive deep into this show. Will, sound off. I mean, I think with this show, yeah, they did a fantastic job. Um, like you were saying with Sophia. Uh, putting all those bodies on her gives her so much more credibility as well as a villain status. So now she can really, you know, be one of the main players uh, in terms of the entire, you know, Gotham underworld when it comes to, okay, who's the the big bads at Arkham? Who's out there? Who's taking out people? Who's doing whatever? So that's fantastic for her that she didn't get taken out, that she's still able to recap her, you know, you know, keep going with her stuff. Now, Penguin is Penguin now. Like, there is no more really. Oz Cobblepot, you know, was doing his thing throughout the whole show. Again, we got his showcase manipulating ability since he was a child. And he's been doing it for a long time. Like, we really get to see how well he put it. The fact is that his mother was ready to take him out. And he still managed to talk his way out of it and still continue on this entire time was expert level and he still never really copped anything. Never did. You know, it was like he never copped it. So we don't know what's like we know what we saw, 
we know what the truth is as far as what we saw and so like that but as far as everybody else everybody only is going off of what's being said or what's being shown like nobody knows the truth but him and that's the the, the best part of it he remains that diabolical personality his whole thing with vic look i called it saw it coming he had to be a villain he had to everybody was starting to get too attached to oz and his character and the story they get too attached to sophia with that you know shout out to my boy Tony. you know he was he was in there you got to make sure that you establish like he is a villain of gotham batman is the hero that we're all here to see and stuff like that so penguin needs to be that villain when batman comes for him all right we need to see him be diabolical we need to see him be bad now granted tony did say something he was always good towards his his crew penguin took care of his crew right that's what you were telling me before in the the books he took care of his crew he was one of the few that did versus most other people like two-face whatever they would be taking out their crew left and right and not care joker especially but penguin's one of the ones to take so with this being a notable switch for him and then we literally in one of the next scenes we get is him in his three-piece with his top hat and his umbrellas we're just missing the monocle like we are really we getting the monocle. penguin coming out and this is really about to shine through when he continues to play this role please continue to play this role in the batman 2 and any future you know instances where they need him i hope he is willing to put in a suit because this show was just too freaking good the acting was on point um frankie yo she was great like i felt everything that she was saying I did not expect her to do what she did. That 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 was wild. So seeing that we we truly know that she's broken, and she's got you know she's been dealing with this. And the fact is that she attributed her sickness to him was masterful storytelling the entire time. We knew that she was sick. We knew that she had issues with that. But the fact that she attributed him because I got to wake up and you're there every day. That was phenomenal writing. Like I don't know what they're gonna do to top this. But as long as they keep this same momentum going forward for the Batman 2, if they do any more series, all that stuff, I'm on board. Like, let's let's run it. The only compliment that I can give that you guys haven't is this show went full Godfather. It literally covered the entire spectrum of storytelling, narrative, depths, backdrops, character relatability. You made villains that were believable, that were intelligent villains you didn't dumb them down for anybody there isn't a single character on this show that you look at other than maybe squid and say wow look at this fool but again squid wasn't a gangster he was just a side character meant to propel Vic forward so we believed that ultimately he was going to make that survival at the very end because he was part of Vic's grow up his come up his understanding of what was going on Vic learned all the reins he did all the things he did all the right stuff he met the right people but like Will unfortunately called Vic met with an untimely demise, but one that's absolutely hmm. vital for Oswald Cobblepot to evolve into the Penguin. He cannot be this ruthless villain that we're all actively rooting against as long as he's still carrying on as Vic's father figure. It just doesn't work. I hate it that we lost Vic because he did such a great job. But I do love the fact that this wasn't your traditional villain versus villain standoff where one person is just slightly more evil than the other. So they have to go. So the semi-good villain sticks around. Both survived. The only person we lost was Maroni and Vic, when you think about it. And then we changed a couple heads for a couple crime families because Penguin got the idea into their heads that, hey, It's okay to be hungry. It's okay to want more from life. It's okay to want to be a better version of yourself and take what's yours. These people have been holding you down. Why are you just sitting there taking it? And he built up this beautiful empire that now we're going to kind of see how it's going to be treated, so to speak, because like we saw the come up. We're missing one monocle. That's it. And the the only time we saw Batman was a symbol in the sky. That's it. Everything else, same continuity of quality from the movie 
and the writing and the characters and the depth minus the one Falcone character who just didn't want to come back. He said characters and I quote too violent. But again, you were choking out chicks in the last movie. So I don't know why you drew the line here. But hey, everyone has their reasons. There's only one bad character. If people don't win awards for this show, I don't know what you're going to win an award for. Just back up the Brinks truck directly to Colin Farrell's address, DC or Max or whoever's signing his checks. Because you need to find an organic way of continuing this character. Don't force him down our throats. But if you can organically continue this character and evolve him to where everyone is going to be able to see him evolve and become even more dastardly than he currently is, I'm here for it. And I, I can't imagine right that one of you sitting here and be like, no. I'm right next to you. It makes sense because if you think you said, look about it, the fact that you were able to do this entire show without the type, the title character of the series, which is Batman. Batman was not present here, and the show was as good as it was. It was fantastic. Like they knew how to write, they knew how to put the characters together, they knew how to make the story feel genuine. Even when we got the Batman symbol at the end, honestly, I think that was just for the fans more than anything. And it was yep. like a call thing to that. It was not needed at all. You could have ended on that shot right before and it would have been absolutely fine. We could have ran with it from there. That's I still feel like it was necessary because he was talking with Eve and he said, no one can stop me. And then there's the Batman symbol perfectly Batman afterwards. Symbol. I, I think, I it, think was it was worked. necessary in that sense. Yeah, it definitely there was worked. no context for that. We could have moved on and we could have kept the push. Yeah, if, if he didn't say Hassan what didn't he said, it. If he didn't, if he didn't say what he said, like nobody could stop me, you could have ended it with them just dancing and us fading away from them in the window. But the minute those words came out of his mouth that nobody could stop me, you had to throw the back symbol up there. And I'm there for it. I, I'm glad that Pattinson didn't show up in the series. They needed to focus 100% on Penguin and his story, and they did. I, I don't, I, I don't know. It's just. I need people to watch this. I need people to sit down and watch this show. First, watch the Batman. Don't just come jumping into this. You you need context. So go watch the Batman. Get Put three hours aside on the day. Watch Batman. Then come watch the Penguin. I heard a lot of people actually made the Batman a Halloween movie that they watch, kind of like Nightmare Before Christmas, where it's just you sit down on Halloween and watch this film. That's how impactful the Batman was on everything going on so go do yourselves a service and watch that and again the only thing i'm left pondering and i'm not going to spitball too much on this was the fact that we had selena kyle specifically name dropped for sophia i feel is very very interesting right anyone have any thoughts to just touch upon that i mean i think I it's just a setup for selena to be part with penguin be paired yeah. with penguin at some point I don't know why they they felt the need to make Selena her half sister or whatever. That might have been like a ploy just to get it in. Like she wrote like the letter. Oh, I'm your half sister. Like she's playing a part. I think that's kind of what that was. I don't think. But she was like, Selena. Last we know, Selena was working with Batman against Penguin. So, what would be her? What her motivation is revenge against Penguin because now her family has been literally wronged by Penguin on top of the wrongs that were done to her previously in the movie. So we're just building upon their hatred of each other. We're just expanding that. Well, I mean, we just, yeah, but... We're putting gasoline on the fire. She still needs to understand that Batman is still out there and he's going to stop him. And that's always been their complicated relationship. I know you're going to go out and commit crimes, babe. I'm going to go out and stop you, but we can still shack up afterwards. That's Get married, just you know, Batman and Catwoman's dynamic. It is, and I love it, but... Yeah, that, that's the only thing I really, I, I don't know if I can get behind it, especially since we didn't know and we didn't find out what was said in the letter. I know y'all like being, you know, some surprises, but at least give us some kind of hint on what's going on. Yeah, some companies give us too much. Some give us nothing. Right now, I'm that okay with nothing. nothing as far as superhero shows go. Stop giving me, we'll see, blah, 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 next time in this. Oh, cool. We'll wait another three years and see that. Fantastic. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Like, see what just, I'm saying? Just, like, leave, leave it open for same interpretation. Same bet see how things time, same bet channel. 
<laughs> uh, fantastic series, though. We all loved it. Anyone have any final thoughts pertaining to the Batman you wanted to cover in this breakdown? I'm sure we'll have a, a pre-Batman 2 just free-for-all at some point. The, the only thing I needed them to do was give me some closure on Rush. I got no closure on him. I don't his know why. Didn't even grow in this I don't know why he was there. Yeah, exactly. His character did not grow. It was exactly the same for the entire series. While everybody else around him got better or got dead, he was just there. So I don't. I needed something more out of him, and, and that was a waste of an actor. Because he he played he's played his part beautifully, but again, what his story was, we're looking at it and going. This is a nothing sandwich. You've given yeah, me nothing to work with. He's just, he was the hangman's boyfriend. Is, or a part, booty call, a, like something. Apart from having Knight Rider lights to hypnotize folk, I mean, that was it. It, it was a nothing sandwich. Yeah, I mean, I'll kind of lean into, I want to know more about Eve and her whole thing at the end. With oh, Eve Carlin. She's just popping up as soon as yeah, he gets Yeah, so back she's popping top. up and she is, you know, dressed like his mother. And they're having a conversation as if she was his mother. So is is she is he mentally like something gone or is he there or is he just playing along because that's something she does for him? So at that to help him cope because he doesn't have his actual mother? like what what's the deal there? So their their dynamic right now has changed. And right. again, she's the one who turned her back and, and set him up. And gave, and, and gave that so does we he gotta know? think he know yeah we gotta think he knows yeah he's been built up too intelligently for us to sit here and i thought say, he, she was going to fly i thought she was going to go flying out the window penguins can fly i guess but uh, hey i believe that's our final thoughts any last minute things other than rush didn't move the story forward brush did not move the story iron man sucks and that's all i got Happy birthday, Marines. We Rah. love y'all. We appreciate Rah. y'all. Stay out of too much trouble, but again, big no. ask. No, what all we do ask of you <laughs> is the lovely red subscribe button. It's in the corner below. It greatly helps us out. Be sure I mean, we already got us on as like the white noise in the background <laughs> pertaining to you know all of our channel. We're so close to being monetized. Thanks to you, the viewer. We appreciate y'all. We love you all. Iron Man, you suck.